Now we're going to talk about how to ask questions using the Turkish words var, it exists or they exist, and yok, it does not exist or they do not exist. You know that to form a statement like I have a sibling in Turkish, you're going to use var. So for example, I have a sibling, kar im use the possessive first person singular suffix kardeshim var i have a sibling but what if we want to ask do i have a sibling we're going to add the question particle which as you recall follows the rules of four way vowel harmony and can take four one of these four different forms mi m mu and m after var it's always going to take the form m, because m corresponds best with var according to the rules of vowel harmony. So to ask, do I have a sibling? I'm going to say, kar, optional benim, my, kardeshim, var, m, so, Literally, my, does my sibling exist? But we'll translate it as, do I have a sibling? And of course you can do this for first person, second person, and third person. So let's see how we ask, do you have a sibling? Optional senin, your, kardeshin, Var m question particle. So, kardeshin var, you have a sibling. Kardeshin var m, do you have a sibling? Third person, very similar situation. Onun, his or hers, optional. Kardeshi. We could also use a name like Mehmedin Kardeshi, Mehmet sibling. Var m. So this would be he has a sibling, or if we had Mehmedin, Mehmed has a sibling. With the question particle, it becomes does he or does she have a sibling? Let's move on to the plural. Bizim, our. Kar deshimiz. Var, m. Remember, var does not change according to whether something is singular or plural. So, do we have a sibling for second person plural? Optional, sizin, your. Kar deshinis. Your sibling exists, or you have a sibling. Kar deshinis var, m. Do you have a sibling? For the third person plural, onlarun, or you can use a proper noun like a name, onlarun kar desh i, or alternatively, kar desh leri, the same meaning, you can use either, their sibling, var m. So this would be, they have a sibling. Kar, onlarin kardeshi var, or onlarin kardeshleri var. Add the question particle and it becomes, do they have a sibling? Now, what you can do with var, in this case, you can also do with yok, the Turkish word for does not exist, or is not there, or are not there. So, we know that if we say kardeshim yok, that means I do not have a sibling or my sibling is not there. If we want to ask, don't I have a sibling or do I not have a sibling? We can say kardeshim yok. And here, because of vowel harmony, after yok, we're going to choose a different form of the question particle. So kardeshim yok mu. 
Do I not have a sibling? Don't I have a sibling? Again, the second person singular. Kardeshin yok mu. And just like we always used m after var to a as our version of the question particle, yok's version of the question particle will always be mu because of vowel harmony. So, onun kardeshi yok mu. Doesn't he or she have a sibling? We could ag again use a proper noun here like Mehmedin kardeshi yok mu. Doesn't Mehmed have a sibling? Bizim kardeshimiz yok mu. Don't we have a sibling? Sizin kardeshiniz yok mu. Don't you plural or you formal have a sibling? And for they, onların kardeshi or onların kardeshleri yok mu. Don't they have a sibling? Do they not have a sibling? Now these were all yes, no questions. There's another kind of question you can ask in Turkish using var. A question with a question word. So for example, let's say we want to ask someone how many siblings they have. We'll start with the Turkish word for how much or how many, kaç. Kaç, how much, how many. Then let's say we're using the second person singular, informal. So maybe we're asking a child, how many siblings do you have? Kaç, word for sibling, kardeş. How many sibling? There's your sibling, so we'll add the second person singular possessive suffix. Kaç kardeşin var? This is complete. How many siblings do you have? Notice that we do not need to use the question particle if we are using a question word like kaç or hangi, which means which. Any question, if you're using one of those question words, do not need to use the question particle in catch. You cannot. So, how many siblings do you have? You can use this construction with any of our possessive suffixes. So, for example, if you wanted to ask how many siblings do we have, first person plural, you could say, Kach, Kardesh, Imiz, Var. How many siblings do we have?